Bitch, I'm from the I just fucked your music. Bitch, I'm from the I'm pissed somebody else. I pissed somebody different. I know who I pissed on. Nah, you good. I'm just trying to find what, what, what uh, conference is Ohio State in. Um, fucking... I know, but it didn't have it. I'm thinking. You're under all. Like, no, I'm not. I'm under Pac-12 now. I switched it and I can't find it. I'm thinking of Big Ten. Yeah, Big Ten. From the wood, I be sucking wood. Ain't your house, fuck, nigga. LeBron James house, nigga. Nigga said it's LeBron James house. This Maurice Claret house, nigga. He'll take three turns, try to get better field position. Hey, chill out. Ooh, you doing too much, nigga. That. You doing a little bit too much, nigga. You bouncing too much ass. Fuck wrong with you? Like this shit was. Bro, I. Ooh, I'm gonna punch that nigga who's fucking young. You fucking know, pick it off, dumbass. Nigga, I couldn't see my icons for a sec. It's kind of a double whammy for this offense. 
because on their opening drive, not only did they turn it over with the interception, but they've now set their defense up in a really tough spot deep in their own end. Extending the play. Got it! Oh, to the end zone! Touchdown, Ohio State! And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, oh, getting the touchdown pass, the quarterback getting a little bit of confidence, the passing game getting a little bit of rhythm. I already couldn't see my icons. They're yeah, screaming as fu fucking loud as fuck. He'll bring it out. It's Morgan. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Get him! Oh shit! Bro, this nigga keep they getting open field, bro. Like they not even doing a good job on the kickoff, bro. Nigga, I thought I was going. I ran into my own teammate. Nigga, nigga, brain niggas, okay, tell you all. We eat those, nigga. We don't see you. I don't know, come back to the game, nigga. Got three on first down at second and seven. Trying to beat him to the corner on the right. Damn, these niggas defense is insane. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes all you're trying to do is create negative plays to get them behind the sticks a little bit to get those sacks to get those tackles for no oh shit takes it the other way and after making the interception a terrific return to put his offense in great field position at the 42. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse. And they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? And he'll hold it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes! I love this tight end because, man, he's a weapon in the passing game. Big guy, big target, and he has a lot of ability after the catch. You saw it on that <coughs> touchdown. <laughs> I can back kick you, bro. Casual with it and blew the extra point. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring. I get this nigga immediately. Do not let this nigga get over, bro. Happen to kick attack in the game. It's Morgan. Okay, so there we go. This nigga. He's probably second guessing that return. Where are you going, people? Come here, 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 here. You yeah, just... your defense is so OP, I can't do shit against these niggas. Like, fuck. They've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. The play action fake, feeling some heat. I do that. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? They're a couple of yards short of the first down, but the offense will stay out there on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. <laughs> Shit, this nigga trying to pull out. That's You gay. You kill the game. Okay. Thank you. They just changed the dynamic 
to this position in a first and ten from inside the red zone. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple of times. cheese screen. You lucky that was a fucking tidy and he was out of stamina. Field shrinks. I need more bigger personnel on the field. Some big guys that can stop the run. Play the run well. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick. Get it to your playmakers in space. Get positive yards. It's uh, instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Back to throw, it's Orgy. Fuck! Oh, yeah. We're able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone. You're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kicker. The official says no good. Boy, that field goal really could have helped the mental health, but it's still a 13 point game. Stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. The give to the tailback. I should just took my fucking ear and run. And just give to the left. Defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. Unloads to the right. Makes a connection. At the 45. After that last ball, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get two touches in this game. Give to the back. Nice move to pick up yardage. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Looking to throw at Tower. The sweet feet by a little time. He's got his man. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. The Buckeyes are on the move. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. The gun. Sorry, not on the move. He's knocked down in the backfield. You're an issue, man. That linebacker saw the express <laughs> lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Him and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. It's complete to the left. Those third downs are hard to. Nigga, you got this game. <laughs> I can't do shit on this fucking defense because their defense is like a 92 fucking overall. Yeah, nigga's nice to see all this shit. That was a wrong fucking matchup for me to do because my fucking offense was only like an 82. Niggas couldn't block for shit. I couldn't do shit. Invite me again. in this book. Get them 
again. Oh, I wanna play with them again. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I was gonna pick the ducks that time. I was just trying to see what they were. Uh, running back was like. There's no way Mizzou is ranked higher than fucking Michigan. Bro, Mizzou is fucking raw as fuck, bro. Mizzou not ass, bro. Nigga, why the fuck they got a 76 defense if they're not ass? Bro, because they offense good. Mizzou is not ass. Okay, Utah. We <laughs> got Aaron Fernandez. <laughs> they put classic teams on this bitch. They gonna have Aaron Fernandez. <laughs> what you talking about? I said if they put classic teams on here, they'll be dope. Have Aaron Fernandez. What's that one, Aaron? Aaron. Oh, you talking about the nigga that killed his friend and shit? Yeah. It's the school where they fuck little boys. <laughs> it wasn't just little boys. The nigga was fucking sexy assault bitches too. That little fucking physical therapist dude. When them bitches and niggas was getting injured, he was fucking molesting them and, and fucking raping them and shit.
that nigga was fucking everybody. That nigga was molesting and fucking everybody. That nigga don't discriminate. <laughs> it was men, it was, it was dudes, it was women. That's it was hell of people coming out the woodwork talking about that nigga touched him. That shouldn't be funny. This nigga said he was molesting everybody. <laughs> he wasn't discriminating. <laughs> God, everybody with this shit happened. Everybody came out with a story. Oh God, like you was fucking me. You was fucking me in 2003. Oh God, Well, then what's the point of allowing niggas to fucking pick jerseys? Change them. It's like, like that on like, They don't want both teams wearing white jerseys or shit, some shit like that. No, my home jerseys are blue, and I pick some blue jerseys, and they change them to white because blue is home. I'm away. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. They got me fucked up. I'm, I'm great with this shit. Nigga. I'm going to keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Well, he couldn't find any running room at all, and he'll end up taking a loss on the play. Yeah, great discipline on defense, too, because if you're going to stop the option, you have to play a sign. No, he must. I was going to say, if that's a fan, dude. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are. Play great. That nigga lost the fuck out my bitch <laughs> that nigga lost the fuck out my bitch Wasting no time taking a gamble by going for it on Bro, I threw it. I threw that shit. Tell you what, coaches catch heat a lot nowadays, especially on social media. I just gave him a fucking tweet down. Catch a lot of heat. Fourth down, long, long yard situation on your own territory, and you want to go for it? Yeah. No fucking way your crowd is still screaming, and you just turn the fucking ball over on him. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the niggas got a turnover on downs, and there's crowd is still screaming. They're rocking, right? Nigga, come on, bro. His head was in his nuts. <laughs> My nigga got a cup on, nigga. He got big PP. Keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. And the extra point is good, and it's 7 nothing. And they supposed to be the lions, and they logo ain't even a real nigga lion with the big old hairy like fur on his neck. Yeah, I got a pussy ass lion. Like, no, a bitch nigga. That's just a guy. Pick up the fourth down and it led to the scoring drive, David. Damn, they just heard some shit, ain't it? 
defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football type deal. The offense now needs to get a pass off a lead, dude. No doubt, David. They got to turn the page and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here, knowing they've got to get that one back and put a good drive together. Give to the running back. Got oh, the, go. the nigga with the half shirt, he got his ass cooked. He got cooked into a mean ass block. This nigga just say on the set. <laughs> the back goes in motion. He'll ride his man on the option. Oh, there's a loose Good shit, boy. Good shit, boy. How <laughs> about this nigga just pitch it and pick it up? This dumbass fucking game. And not have a turn. Let's go. The Utes are flying down the field. They'll run it from the gun. And nice we smack the fuck out Ted nigga for running it. Makes the stop. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Nine yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Motion from the offense. After run, 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 now throw. Hines is tight end. <laughs> Damn, I'm just thinking shaky shit. Just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end. Tackle two niggas. Tackle me and teammate. Setting up the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough in a solid pickup on first down. And he didn't get a big game. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that 
was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carry. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. You ain't block shit, you fucking fat fuck! Not getting shit, nigga. Nigga ain't block shit. Nigga just stood there and let the nigga right in front of him hit stick me. Fucking fat fuck. It's a draw. At the 40, there he goes. Get him. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. How about the draw play? What's the first thing you have to do? You got to sell pass. Everybody believes it for just a second. The running back gets a little bit of space. And once he gets space, you can see he knows how to navigate and get down the field and make a big play. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. Dropping back. It's our Quarterback moving out of the pocket. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this game. The first. Lions will have a first down. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that. What? Yeah, this is the game. All the way down to the one yard line. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two minute warning. We'll take a quick break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. They stop them right on the line. They'll try it again from the one on second and goal. Now he's looking to throw it. Grab near the sticks. It's for it. Touchdown, Penn State! This crowd is still fucking screaming. Hey, shut y'all bitch ass up. Y'all team is fucking losing. Fuck niggas. Get that on side and they do. Nigga, I, like, I know you're home, but if I score, you're supposed to no, shut I said fuck I'm, up. I'm, I'm taking this home. I'm taking this one to the top. The 15, a lie. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. He still held on to that. You played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance That's to get on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity Stop. to get their win. They'll get him down at the 48 after the... These niggas shout for every fucking thing. Nigga, all you got was a fucking first down. These niggas screaming again. Like, shut y'all bitch ass up. But look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back, but man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss. And he can pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out there. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's rising. He looks that one in nicely. Big word. Is that your running back? 
much, dude. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through the pressure. That's reeled in. It's Bernard. Stopped after making the catch. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Ooh, he got it. He wanted that ball. Damn, look at him. Well, Jimmy looked like he knew where he wanted to go with that football, but give the defense credit. They were able to swap that one away. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Fires to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Excellent job rallying to the ball, and they knock him down. Guys have the backfield now. It's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. On third down, going up top. On target. And they'll get him down inside the five of this offense, powering toward a score. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. He got it. So close Damn, to the my hammer did it. it. <laughs> that, that nigga should have died. <laughs> no, that nigga should have died. <laughs> that nigga should be dead. That was a dead. fucking car wreck. That nigga should be dead. This defense fighting to hold the lead and carry it to the locker room. Moves around to clear up. Oh. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all away. Touchdown, Utah. And I love that this offense stuck to it. Stuck to the run game. Didn't panic. They got down. But they answered the bell right before the half. And they got this thing right where they wanted it. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. To get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Fielded in the end zone, it's Singleton. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Come on, oh, I tried. I tried. It would have been major. Sends the offense back onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch a 
see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays and really go for it? Yeah, it, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches Nigga. Believe, Damn, me baby drop and I got it, Joe. So. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. He all over that screen switch. That wasn't a screen. So much for putting a drive together and getting into plus territory. They got it out in the flat, but just nothing doing. Yeah, and I get it. You don't want to make a mistake in your own territory and maybe give up points or set them up for good field position, but that was not open. Just checking it down to your running back basically in the flats and oh yeah. 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 What the oh, fuck? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nigga. Oh. And you could see once he left everybody in the dust and he was going to the house, the sidelines going nuts. What a big time play to take the lead. Defense did his job. Now special teams coming through in a big way. He'll bring it out. It's Carpenter. No. Oh. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Going back to work on offense now. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. Just yeah, you better fall, nigga. The grave diggers is outside. Yeah, nigga. The grave diggers is out. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. He wants to throw. I swear, my niggas be taking the littlest fucking, little fucking, oh my god, like fuck, we be taking a little fucking softest fucking hits ever and we be dropping shit, I be straight hammering people and they're fucking tight ends and shit be holding on, like fuck, no, yeah, dang, dang, oh my fucking god, I got stuck on my own fucking lineman. Who's not even blocking nobody? Fuck. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. Nice run there to keep things moving before they force him out of bounds. I know he didn't pick up the first round, but man, he makes this fourth down way more manageable. It's tough when you got fourth in Africa. Did a great job of Nick said fourth in Africa. That race is good. I understand the desire to keep the ball, but going for it inside your own 40? On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. He uncorks one deep. Why he just died? Come on. I don't know why. I thought you were finna smack me. I could have ran that in for a touchdown. What do you do I for this you kissed it because I thought you were finna smack me. Bro, I tried to. I tried to get a step there. I'm pretty proud of you. They just fucked the whole momentum up, gang. Oh my god. That just fucked all my momentum up. Man, they had to be in some kind of rush to get the ball out there. Man, they had to get some good stuff. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They get him after he picked up the five and got him inside the red zone down to the 16. Five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of 
carries, so don't forget about the run game. Keep him honest to pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the run, it's our quick strike complete. Come on, let's go. Hey, bro, you tripping it on like a post. With a slipping old ceiling. Look at that fucking mascot. These niggas ain't no shit. These niggas scrummy. These niggas scrummy, bro. You know, for two? Oh, you know this. What's up, Eddie? I mean, what's up, fucker? What's up? Instead, they decided to go for the lead. They get it executed. And all of a sudden, they have all the momentum in this game. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Let's go, we This game cheating. This game really just cheated the fuck out of me. Nah, I'm about time I some fucking lucky shit, nigga. Dang, God, we don't really got no lucky shit to get it. This shit cheated. That's hella game. That's beyond games. They just gave this nigga a touchdown. They just gave it to him. Oh, that nigga fumbled, bro. So. I can't believe that shit. He makes a grab, takes it to the house. Touchdown, Penn State. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire. You know, yeah, just back everybody. Let's yeah, everybody yeah. live with the results because everything else ain't working anyway. Yeah. From inside his own 15, looking for a crevice. And the coverage team gets to return her on the ground. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football. This nigga still held on to it. They turn it into points, Jesse. Nigga, this guy hits it. Good news, though. Nigga, let me get touched in my fucking back. Oh, that's on. Let me get hit in my back, nigga. That shit coming out. Gotta lock in. He's moving out of the pocket. It falls in. Y'all niggas be pushing me in my fucking back and my tight ends be dropping it. I just laid the fucking pad on this nigga and he held on to me. Nigga got hit by two different fucking people and he held on to me. Like, fuck out of here. Back on the field after the break and we'll God, my side is never fucking show up for me like that. The give to the back. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was and they stopped him short. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Oh. Out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. Still running at the 40. Thank you. As long as I fucking force him to the inside, somebody can catch up. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have pressed man right there. I picked man. Running back, thinking he was maybe going to get a handoff, but they were able to sneak and leak him out of the backfield. Behind the defense, he makes the catch and keeps the drive alive. Scrambling away. Stick that nigga. Let that nigga fumble again. Trying to fucking run. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Line getting set on second down. Back to throw. It's rising. Thank you, that nigga dropped it. That was a physical 
matchup there. Third down coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Thank you. And the freshman will talk about the fucking linemen doing their fucking job. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back. Get to the QB. Get the sack. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Going for it all. No! That nigga was porn star pussy open. Nigga. What the fuck? How about that quarterback taking the what the fuck? Take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. Asshole. Yeah, <laughs> He's in the end zone. The two-point conversion is good, and we're tied here in the final period. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up. About set to kick it away. The ball bounces through the end zone, and it will be a touchback. Oh, wrong person. Yeah, hold on. He had it right down the middle and he flat dropped it. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Looking to throw, it's our. Got his man quickly. At the 40, there he goes. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They've done a really good job identifying mismatches, and they find one out of the backfield there. Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is better than yours. Find the matchup across the field. Running back's got some speed. Get it in his hands quickly. Throw it to him fast. Let him make somebody miss against a slower guy that's usually a linebacker. catch up to him but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up one of the things i love about this offense reese is they have tons of speed they like to try to get the ball going east west that time they generate a huge play going to the right side and the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit yeah they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on they got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him Damn. in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. The clock stopped. Two minutes left to play in this one. Going for it on fourth down late in a tie game. This is a huge play. He'll go up top. Maybe he just throws for the end zone. Give me that shit, nigga. Oh, Fuck you thought this shit would. And I'm going to the crib. Ah. Oh. Obviously, everything gets elevated. Everything has to happen a split second sooner. You can feel the crowd noise. You can feel the energy. But you've got to keep your poise. And you just.
just wonder in this juncture of the game if the quarterback starting to lose his cool. To the air. It's rising. Looking to the big tight end. Didn't think I held on to that. quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. That's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. This game's some fucking bullshit. I got pushed to my fucking back and I dropped the ball. This nigga's getting hit stick by two different players. Like this game is fucking bullshit. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. They go right back to it. And the defense stops. Fucking bullshit. The first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They think there's room to run to the right here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. When the offense gets in those multiple tight end looks, you kind of have a good understanding of what's coming. You don't know where the ball's going necessarily, but they'll put those big old bodies in there to block, to move people, to put more mass on the field, especially once you get in this red area where you have to be able to run the football effectively. Those passing windows tend to shrink a lot. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Catch open now. My players are just standing there watching you. Yeah. Never again will I play with Penn State. Never again will I play with Penn State. Like these niggas are so fucking garbage. Just let this nigga run in the end zone. Nobody was blocked right there. From inside his own town. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they want to return at the 22. The Dindy Lions going back to work on offense now. Time's running out, Jesse. They're in a world of trouble, but as long as you've got a few ticks, there's a chance. And they've got a quarterback, David, just going to have to come down to some good old-fashioned heroics, right? You can't take a sack, you're going to have to buy time, and you're going to have to make some incredible throws. Buy some time and show off that cannon, because he's going to have to throw this thing a long way down the field and get really, really lucky. Give me that! Give me that! Give me that! What do you thought? Boom, oh, shaka Nigga, Penn State is fucking hard. Oh, Fuck the kid, got him give this one. And the extra point is true and they have a two lead up fourteen in the fourth. Here he comes from inside his Boom, man. No more room to run. They make the tackle right there. And the clock is at zero, and that's how this one will end. Well, this <laughs> yeah, nigga, Utah might be the squad. Utah might be the squad. Utah is nice, but fucking Penn State is some fucking retards. 